What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Tales of Asperia. Went ahead, mixed up everyone's outfit. This time, everyone has something uh, related to a job, with the exception of Carol. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize this at the time. I thought Carol was just supposed to be a lunch lady, but Carol actually had a school-oriented outfit, so we're gonna let him wear that one this time around. While everyone else is in job-related gear, so Yuri is a knight, Estelle is a paramedic, Jude is a maid. Raven's the only one that didn't have one. Raven just has a, a retired old man outfit. Despite the fact that he's in his 30s. Huh? What is that? A Freed's grave, maybe? Kind of what it looks like. A pirate hat and a bunch of gravestones. What are all these stones doing in a place like this? It's so creepy. Wait, these aren't graves, are they? Maybe we really did come to the wrong place. But even if that's the case, why are there so many here? Why? Does this look really low res to anybody else inside this cave? I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. <gasps> There's something written over there. Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place, lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! Yeah, yeah, that's what it said, Carol. And these are the graves of people who were killed by Ifrit? Yes, but I had no idea there could be so many. No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. You can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves. Who knows? Maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But this is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to Miorzo. You all should stay here. What? You're going by yourself? We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can we? There aren't any signs of monsters here. We should go too. Repeat, take good care of Patty, okay? So there's that other path. I wonder if I'm supposed to go this way or the other way. Never mind. This turns into a dead end. No, it doesn't. It looks like a dead end. Maybe the old man was right. We really did come to the wrong place. But there weren't any other shores with red flowers, were there? Do you mind if I take a look at that? Actually, now that I think about it, the spa manager is probably uh, Probably Raven's work outfit, Illusion and this is undone. supposed to be his it is beach outfit. Of the chosen people whom you have anxiously awaited. Hangs a damn big old. A door? What? What did you do? The Critians possess an ancient power known as the Nagig that can read the information in objects. I used that power to learn the secret phrase that would remove the enchantment that hid this door. I see. So this is what Tort meant when he said the door could only be opened by a Critian. Now, let's go inside. Oh, hold up. There's there's other parts to this cave that I haven't explored yet. I thought this was going to be the path we had to take. Just, nope, just one chest. Circle it. Got some nice new gear for Patty when she eventually rejoins the party.
And I know some of you guys are uh, being a little bit overkill on the outfits. Rest assured, we're not going the whole playthrough with them, but I think uh, next week I'll probably go to a, a more standard outfit. Something that's more just, you know, more just badass outfits for everyone. Could this be the key for the door to Miorzo? It's like a magical bell to me. Yes. We were told it's a bell, so this has to be it. Opens the entrance to Miorzo. It was owned by the Great Critine Guide. Still, why is there a graveyard in a cave where the bell was hidden? It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I bet the person who built that graveyard didn't know the bell was hidden here. I guess that's to be expected with the door being invisible. Maybe the person who closed the entrance to this cave was the one who built the graveyard. What for? Who knows? Maybe to prevent grave robbing. Or maybe there was some other reason they had to hide this place. It is true that Tort never said anything about the cave entrance. You might be right. So someone went to all the trouble of burying those people in such a remote location? Is that really all it is? I don't know, but we've got the bell we came for, so let's go back and see Patty. Yuri, did Eifried really kill all those people? Maybe he did. Patty... That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all prepared for it. Right, let's hurry back. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Thank you, Repeat. We got what we came for. Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you going already? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cypher. Can you come with us? Could she be... So they said I had to come here and get the bell, and then there's an area being attacked by ruffians, and I have to put them down use the bell. I'll probably get a cutscene or something that'll explain where I'm supposed to go next, because I don't remember exactly where it's at. All we've got left to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. I agree. Yuri, I need to talk to you. What is it? I'd like to say goodbye to all of you now. It's time for us to part ways. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? No, that's not it. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any more trouble. Even if you don't mind, well, I do. Patty. What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. Do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Rita. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do... I... It'll be lonely around here without you. We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides, 
You don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship, and we'll be in real trouble. Why? Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. Until that time, though, why don't you come with us? Okay. All right! It's off to Agathor Forest! We just gotta get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. Troubled girl. Alright, Agathor Forest is... Probably right here? I mean, there's a... Place there. I don't know if that's it. There'll probably be a forest entrance. What's that? Forgotten Shrine back in. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here right now. Yes, yeah, it's like a challenge dungeon or something. craft his weapon. I forgot that when, um, so how the, uh, the cave there kind of, how it was like super low res. Uh, initially I started recording this episode and I thought it was bugged, so I like restarted and loaded the save, which took me all the way back to Ospio. This, you idiot, you got no idea what the hell you're talking about. What'd you say, you pee brain peon? Damn it, better watch your mouth. The city hasn't changed a bit. Since Belly has passed away, what happened was unfortunate. Oh, okay, 
thing isn't there. I know at some point you unlock uh, a 100 man melee event to get you some badass loot. I just figured this was the closest town. I'm just trying to go synthesize some shit. Shit, still. She has ability plus. Eh, I'll let you finish ability plus. All right, we got that. Head back out and find this. Forest. Actually, while I'm here, pineapple, orange, well, yeah, I got plenty of gel. Agathor Forest. Nice. A holy place for the Christian people. Huh. It's nicer here than I imagined. Not a bad... Whoa, really? I thought you liked being cooped up in cold, dark labs and stuff. I wish I could have seen it in its original state. That must be the Blastia the Mystery Group brought with them. But that's a Hope Loan Blastia. What do you mean by Mystery Group? We weren't able to get any details. But Tort said he'd tell us how to get to Murzo if we did something about them. Would doing something include smashing that thing? I wonder. I suppose we could if there are no complaints. I'll fix it so there's no need for you to break it. Oh? I'll leave it to you then. Are you gonna rest on the ship? No, I'll go. <sighs> Hold still. I'll make this quick. I will use finish that. Well then, everybody's learning stuff. That an Alembic TP really should make you something, but I don't. Oh. Place is like filled to the brim with monsters. Dipping and hopping all over the place. Ah, I should have got more magic lenses. 38. Victory is ours. I did it. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Oh, 
I'm just getting started. I will use this. Good on you, Stell. Okay. She's learned that. Let's get her started on. Iron Maiden's her best. No, it's Zephyrus. Uh, still, I want Nightingale, Holy Rain, Grand Chariot. But she needs a uh, Great Deluge. She has Grand Chariot. So we'll hang on, skills here for Still. So Dispersion is for what with the Still. She gets Air Divide with Alembic. What is she learning now? Lembic and Gale. Lembic gives her Air Divide. Got Grand Chariot. I don't have Holy Rain yet. Crucible gives uh, upgrades Nurse, so Crucible I want to keep on. Which I have. Phantom Blade. Dispersion turns resist into resist field. So that's really good. I should keep that on. And great delusion. Just no reason. Uh, for now at least, because I don't have holy rain. That works. Man, it's like normal monsters here, but they've all Hold evolved, still. Basically. I'll make this quick. Farewell. I a cleaver. Hey, Athenor and Endure. Athenor Crucible for Yuri and let's see. Get Azure Blast and Shining Fang Drop, which apparently is just a really nice version of Shining Fang. So I'll have to check check both of those out in a second here. You'll be gone soon enough. Finish lurking the stuff with this weapon. <laughs> Might have to do a little bit of a perfect things. It's not bad. So I know the Azure Blast is a different version of Azure Storm. Let's go. What I'm probably have to do is just spend some time um awesome. I want those. I'm gonna have to go out to the world map and just, you know, get farmed Halt. up. This area is currently under control of the Imperial Knights. The Royal Guard. This is the Commandant's private force of elite knights. What are the Commandant's forces doing in a forest like this with Hopalon Blastia? I have no reason to answer your questions. And civilian activity is restricted by law in this area. Hmm. Be that as it may, why are you pointing that weapon at us like that? Bring it on! And these guys are itching for a fight, apparently. We should really enjoy these little times together. That escalated quickly. Well, we're off to a good start. So the mysterious group of people was the Imperial Knights. But why did he attack us? Maybe because they're doing something here that they don't want anyone to know about? You mean, with that Blastia? 
Maybe, yeah. Hmm. You said you were gonna come with us, so you better pull yourself together. <sighs> I know. Watch out! Got turrets? Estelle! What did you just do? Same as what she did in Heliard. Estelle's power took the air and made it dissipate. You've got to stop doing crazy things like that. I'm... I'm sorry. I just thought about how everyone was in danger, and before I knew it, my power... Her power is starting to unconsciously respond to her feelings. That last attack came from that Blastia. It was aiming straight at us. Which means that Estelle will end up using her power every time we're shot at. But then... What should I do? Hey, hey, you saved us, didn't you? Yeah, if that had hit us head on, we would have been goners for sure. We should be mad at the fact that they shot at us, not that Estelle protected us. We've sworn to settle Estelle's problems along with the world's problems. Everything we're doing right now is towards that purpose. We shouldn't let the details get in our way. But won't Pharaoh get mad if she keeps doing stuff like this? Whether it's by a Blastia or by Pharaoh, I don't want to be barbecued alive. Come on, this is simple. We just have to do something about that Blastia, right? That's right. Let's plummel the jerks who are controlling that Blastia! All right, let's go. Try to... <sighs> Poor Patty. If you keep standing around, we're gonna leave you behind. There's a lot to this area, um, but with Yuri having I have both Gaia Cleaver and uh, Ares to go through. So what I'm gonna actually do, since we're coming up on um, coming up on the end of the week anyway, we're gonna head back out to the field map. We're gonna save this area for Monday, and what I'm gonna do is spend some time basically working with the modified arts that Yuri gets. <laughs> And see which of those I want to keep. And uh, we'll end up continuing from there. Might even go and pick up some items since I'm getting low on a couple things. But either way, we will continue with more Tales of Vesperia on Monday. So make sure to stay tuned, and I'll see you guys then.